Seven foot one NBA prospect Hanson Yang might be China's best big man since Yao Ming. Despite China being the most populated and one of the most basketball obsessed nations in the world, the country has struggled to consistently produce NBA level talent. Since Yao Ming went number one overall in the 2002 draft to the Houston Rockets and established himself as one of the league's best centers, only three other Chinese players have even made an NBA roster, let alone left an impact anywhere close to that of Yao Ming's. But at long last, that drought may be coming to an end with the emergence of Hanson Yang. At only 18 years old, the 7'1 and 250-pound Chinese Basketball Association rookie is still raw, but looking like the next great player to emerge from China. Welcome everybody, my name is Troy and this is the Half Court Report. Be sure you click that thumbs up button and subscribe for some of the best NBA content that you're going to find on YouTube. Throughout his career so far, Hanson Yang has put up gaudy numbers while displaying flashes of offensive and defensive brilliance not seen in a Chinese player since Yao. Yang's size alone will force NBA scouts to at least take a look but it's Yang's combination of defensive prowess, refined footwork, and impeccable court vision that could lead front offices to roll the dice on him. And it's safe to say Yang shares some innate skills with another foreign player, two-time NBA MVP Nikola Jokic. It was on full display at the FIBA U19 World Championships last year. Yang made his global international debut and introduced himself to Chinese fans. And what an introduction it was. Through seven games, Yang averaged 12.6 points, 10.4 rebounds, 4.7 assists, and five blocks per game while shooting 54% from the field. His best showing came against Hungary, where he dropped 23 points, grabbed 10 rebounds, dished out six assists, and blocked six shots. <laughs> Yang's performance was a revelation for Chinese fans, and in his first year of pro ball, it's only getting better. As of this recording, Yang is the odds-on favorite to win the CBA Rookie of the Year award, with averages of 15.7 points, 11.7 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 2.7 blocks. Oh, oh. Oh. He's not only the best rookie, but one of the best players in the entire league, all at 18 years old. Yang is top five in rebounding and leads the league in blocked shots. One of his most spectacular performances came when he put up 31 points, 16 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 blocks, all on 12 of 17 shooting against Wang Jilin, a two-time CBA domestic MVP and arguably China's best 7-footer. Yang showcased a complete package consisting of pick-and-roll mastery, mid-range shooting, deft post work, slick court vision, and smothering interior defense. Wong was powerless to stop Hanson Yang. In another impressive showing, Yang more than held his own against former NBA lottery pick Thon Maker, recording 19 points, 25 rebounds, and 8 assists. So what exactly has made Hanson Yang so successful thus far? Well, let's break down his game. We'll start with his size, strength, and coordination. True seven-footers are a rarity in the NBA, and being 7'1", like Yang is, is even rarer. That alone will pique NBA scouts' interest. Plus, Yang still has room for maybe another couple inches. It's also clear that Yang has enough weight to hold his own. He won't get completely bulldozed in the paint by the likes of Joel Embiid or Nikola Jokic. Plus, with him still being a teenager, Yang can fill out in that area and gain more muscle as well. 
Beyond his size and strength, Yang also appears coordinated enough to succeed at the highest level and appears agile enough to carve out a role for himself as an old school big man who also fits into the modern NBA. And allow me to bring up Nikola Jokic again, because perhaps the most tantalizing aspect of Hanson Yang's game is his passing ability. In addition to frequently making the right reads from the low post, he is very effective from the elbow and high post, where he possesses a distinct Jokic-like feel for the game. The stats back it up too. He's also not afraid to use his size and strength to bang down low, but also demonstrates nimble footwork with great fundamentals. Drop steps, up and unders, spin moves, jump hooks. Yang can do all of that, plus the ability to pop out for mid-range jumpers. Defensively, his rotational instincts and timing are excellent. That allows him to be an elite, if not the best, rim protector in the entire Chinese Basketball Association. Of the six Chinese-born players to make it in the NBA, all but one were big men. Wang Zhuzhu and Mink Batur were the first to make the jump to America, but it wasn't until Yao Ming established himself as an all-caliber player with the Rockets did other NBA front offices start to really consider Chinese prospects as franchise pieces. The first player to make the league after Yao was Yi Zhanlian, a mobile 6'11 forward with a stroke who some GMs compared to Dirk Nowitzki. While Yi wasn't necessarily a bust, he certainly didn't live up to the expectations that were placed on him as the sixth overall pick. San Yu followed Yi in 2008, suiting up for a total of only 10 games with the Lakers before being waived. Perhaps a result of these disappointing experiments, no Chinese player was drafted again until 2016, when Zhou Qi and Wang Jilin, both seven-footers, were selected in the second round. Zhou Qi made his debut in 2017, saw several stints in the G League, and was cut just over a year later. Wang Jilin never made it stateside. It's safe to say then that the stock of Chinese big men has fallen greatly since the heyday of Yao. It could partly explain why Wang Jilin was never called over despite being drafted in 2016, and it could play a huge role in whether or not NBA GMs draft Hanson Yang. But consider this, despite being only 18 years old, Yang is the most complete Chinese big man since Yao Ming. And I, for one, am rooting for Hanson Yang to carry the torch for the next generation of Chinese basketball. I need you to let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're a Hanson Yang fan, show some love below. I know he would appreciate reading everything you have to say. Since you've watched this far, be sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Click that subscribe button too so you never miss another NBA or basketball video. Check out my pinned comment. Be sure to enjoy some other videos that I've posted on my channel as well. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Half Court Report.